trig identity. So what we're going to do, do here on the top is um, the identity angle of cosine here. So cosine x times cosine y minus sine x sine y. And actually, sh this should be plus. Okay, so, and then on the bottom here, we have cosine x, cosine y. All right, fair enough, but how do we get it on the right? This is what we do. We split this up into two fractions, and we can, because they have the same common denominator. Cosine x, cosine y, should be cosine. All over, cosine x, cosine y, plus sine x, sine y, all over cosine x, cosine y. This cancels out, becomes 1, and then this can be rewritten as a tangent x, tangent y. And that's how you prove that. And that's it. Okay, I hope this helped you out. Appreciate you watching. Have a great day.